Hello, in this video we will learn about Internet of Things. We know about the Internet, but what is the Internet of Things? When we connect our computers, mobile phones or tablets to the Internet, we are able to connect other computers and printers, other machines worldwide. It helps us to do shopping, banking transactions, listen to music, etc. online. Now, the next step which everyone thought of was how about connecting other things we see around us to the internet, like my car, watch, light, TV, machines. Once my car is connected to the internet, we can track its fuel meter, speed level and also track the location of the car. I can control the light and all electrical appliances from my mobile. So, taking everyday things, embedding them with electronics, software, sensors and then connecting them to the internet and enabling them to collect and exchange data without human intervention is called as the Internet of Things. For example, here is a sensor that detects the moisture in the soil and automatically sends an alert to the command center which automatically turns on the sprinkler through a remote switch. Let's look at the history of IoT. The term the Internet of Things was coined by Kevin Ashton in a presentation to Procter and Gamble in 1999. However, even before that, after the internet was discovered in 1982, Carnegie Mellon researchers were connecting a vending machine to the internet to remotely check for cold sodas. In 1990, the first toaster was operated over the net. In 2000, LG introduced the first smart fridge. In 2004, smart watch was introduced. And in 2007, smart iPhone and wearable Fitbit were released. In 2009, Google started testing self-driving cars. In 2011, Smart TV was introduced. In 2013, Google Lens is released, followed by Echo in 2014, which causes a surge in smart home market. IoT continues to grow dramatically with Tesla coming out with Autopilot in 2015. IoT continues to proliferate with cheaper devices and sensors. So, how does IoT work? There are four main components based on which an Internet of Things ecosystem works on. Devices or sensors, connectivity, data processing, and user interface. Let's look at each of them one by one. First is sensor. It is a device that measures physical input from its environment and converts it into data that can be interpreted by a computer. There are various types of sensors available now. For example, sensing motion, temperature, pressure, light, sound, etc. This sensor is typically integrated with a microprocessor-based embedded system, which can collate the data and connect to the internet. Next is connectivity. Several communication protocols and technologies are used in IoT. Depending upon range, power usage, cost, data rate, etc., the right one is used. For example, mobile, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LoRaWAN, etc. All the collected data is sent via the internet to a cloud infrastructure. Next is data processing. In the processing stage, a computer transforms the raw data into information. The transformation is carried out by using different data manipulation techniques. The process can be just aggregating from multiple devices like AC or light, or it can be complex like extracting number plates from a video feed of speeding cars. It could be classifying the data or doing some real-time analytics and identifying patterns for human analysis. Next is user interface. The information processed is made available to the end user in some way, like an app which can trigger alarms or send them notifications through email or text messages. It might provide the user with actual live feed or show trends, etc. The application could also provide an interface to send instructions back as well like resetting the temperature or releasing the water to plants based upon a moisture reading, etc. So, the advantages of IoT are that it will minimize human effort and save time. There will be more and more devices which will be automated and controlled centrally. For example, if a car is speeding, it will automatically raise an alarm early to avoid accidents. It will lead to more automation and technical optimization. It will help in improving the technology and making them better, like self-driven cars. It will help us reduce waste and use our natural resources effectively. 
For example, by using moisture sensors, a farmer can decide how much to water the plants. It does have a few disadvantages as well. Security of confidential data is a key concern. It can lead to various types of network attacks, leading to shutting down of home appliances or industries. Maintaining privacy is also a challenge, as it means more and more personal data is shared online. Let's take a look at some applications of IoT. IoT solutions are widely used in numerous companies across industries. In the field of healthcare, we have biosensors and wearable devices which are used to monitor heart rate, blood pressure, and automatically alert the doctors. In the field of agriculture, IoT can help in crop monitoring using drones. Moisture and soil sensors help in conserving water and maintaining soil balance. To make our houses and buildings smart, IoT is used to centrally manage light, camera surveillance, sound detection, smart switches, and locks in aid for security. This helps in better managing the overall resources with considerably less manpower. In the field of education, smart ID cards automatically takes in attendance while student is entering or leaving the school or school bus and it sends alerts to parents. A smart board allows teachers to display varied content and even surf the internet. The notes and homework on the board is automatically mailed to parents. IoT is used in retail for smart shelves which have digital price labeling and generate automatic notifications if shelves are lighter. Digital signage helps retail companies provide personalized and interactive shopping experience. IoT is used in industries to maintain smart supply chain, leading to better inventory management. Industrial automation helps to increase productive efficiency and flexibility. Another application of IoT is Smart City. India's Smart City mission to promote sustainable and inclusive cities that provide core infrastructure and give a decent quality of life to its citizens, a clean and sustainable environment and the application of smart solutions. India's smart city mission included 100 cities and the success of its implementation will ripple down to many more. Some of the mission objectives include smart governance by introducing a centralized command center for integrating disaster, traffic, crime, water, sanitation management, etc. All government services and information have been provided app-based online access. It includes implementation of smart grid for assured electricity supply by introducing smart meters, appliances, and renewable sources of energy. In the field of education, classrooms have been set up with smart boards and mobile learning is introduced. Government has invested in smart health centers with e-doctor launch and digitization of healthcare records. Smart water solutions are being implemented to ensure adequate water supply by integrating Google Maps, sensors to monitor leakages and groundwater level, etc. It also includes smart transportation, which includes integrated traffic signal control and camera network across the city. So to sum it up, IoT is trying to revolutionize the world. It is creating a giant network where all the devices are connected to each other. This is driving the automation to a next level where all the devices will communicate with each other and make decisions on their own, making human life easier. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe and keep watching more. Goodbye.